hello everyone it's me asmr if welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll show you this type of effects that means uh, cinematic and the moody type uh, actually the gold theme um, the previous image was like that the stock image i'll provide you that image in my video description and after editing that and uh, editing like that you are getting like that so what i have done here i just uh, add a preset which i made it earlier for you guys and then add another that is the fog fog brush and i'll provide you that fog brush to my video description and then i added a, a filter from the nick collection here nick collection so let's jump into the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications at first go to the file and open up actually this one so i'm closing up all the panels and all the things so here after that press ctrl j and i just uh, took this photo from wallpaperhd.com and i'll provide you that download link in my video description and after that go to the filter and camera filter from here you'll get a like a camera is a plugins of the photoshop uh, if you are using the creative cloud version you are getting this one by default that means the creative cloud uh, version camera is by default and otherwise you have to install it manually if you are the user of the cs version then you have to download this one manually and set it up manually if you want to get the download link please check out my video description there is a small menu go to the load settings options and i made the preset that is the cinematic tone this one and what i have done here let's see here the temperature plus one just because of i wanted to make it like a warm color and plus 45 plus 22 that is the contrast and uh, that is the high contrast image that's why it's making a cinematic look and after that highlight i just made it down that's why i made it minus value minus 29 and the shadow i made it 100 for the proper shadow of the photo and here the saturation i made it minus 22 just because of i made it desaturated moody type here the rgb tone curve and i locked it up here and i just made it up like matte type color that's why and blue i made it a little bit upper just because of here is no uh, like a uh, infograph or histogram and red i didn't touch that and green a little bit up so that's why it's looking like a little bit warmy more and then the detailing i didn't touch that if you need you can increase the detail option from here and you can add some luminance of noise direction if you need you can add like that and after that here the saturation of hue and the luminance hue saturation luminance three things that is the hsl panel and i made the saturation of the orange up that is plus 63 and yellow saturation i made it down minus 32 and the green i made it minus 30 that's good and the luminance i made it plus 23 for the red and orange plus 25 for the yellow i'm just made it like plus 12 and green i made it 18 and aqua i just made it plus 12 and here the blue 15 that's good and the hue i didn't touch any kind of hue here i just made it the split toning you know split toning is that process the color uh, which belong to the highlight portion and uh, the shadow portion as well so highlight portion i'm just made the value that is the 80 and saturation 10 and shadow portion you just got that 291 the value of the color and saturation 5 no lens correction issues and here dehaze or haze i didn't touch that that is the effect panel i got here plus 53 for the primary red color and primary green color i didn't touch that and primary blue color i made it minus 23 that's good and hit the ok button okay nice and now i'll provide or i will just add a fog effect for the dreamy or cinematic look so go to the new layer and go to the like a brush options and here is a brush i'll provide you that brush to you 
for your purpose and i made the brush size two for two six zero zero pixel and just select once that's good and then i made the opacity that is the 50 percent that's good and select these two things make it group and right press and convert to smart object and giving the name op op for the output and then go to the filter and the nick collection and color effects pro color effects pro is another plugin of the photoshop if you want to get the download link of this please check out my video description and from here i'm using the cross processing and there are lots of preset actually lots of filters which one is perfect to you for your photographs it's totally up to you so which one is perfect please just check it out or you can just make the experiment like that so which one is good which one is not good and which one is perfect for your photographs it's totally depends on your choice so here and here yeah that's good and i'll make it 10 percent that's good and hit the ok button it will take time to load it up and give you the final output that means this one is a gold type things and uh, uh, what about the text okay go to the text options and select once i made a uh, like a shape or other things i choose the font that is the tunia and write down something over here i'll provide you that font download link and just written here the gold and making it bigger like that that's good and hit the tick button and check the color which one is perfect for this so gold color that's good so if you want to make more precisely gold color you have to give time to change it out so i think this one is the perfect gold color okay according to like that that's good and then theme so i'll make it a little smaller and just place in a middle and changing the color make it to white and then write down the photoshop and place over here press ctrl t and small make it small like that and make the position like that so theme i'll change the color theme like this uh, little bit upper that's good and you're getting amazing thing the before one actually the before one and after one huge change huge cinematic look you are getting over here so if you want to get the drop shadow over here so make it group and give the name text so giving the name right press and blending options from here i'll provide here the drop shadow let's see the settings of the drop shadow that is the normal mode and the color is that is the black and opacity 33 and angle 120 and here the distance that is 3 spread that is 4 and size 4 and I selected this one that's good and hit ok so you're getting a drop shadow in this photo so if you turn it off and turn it on you will get that so hope that you learn a lot from this video and you know how to do that and i'll provide you the preset and font and the photo download link in my video description so check it out and as well as the nick collection and the camera filter so those who are the user of the cs version you can download the camera filter and you can just set it up in your pc actually the photoshop and you can do work with that and you can work like that that is a creative one and that is more amazing for the poster designing or facebook cover designing or youtube cover designing whatever you want actually this one is a cinematic tone and that is the popularity high that's why i just shown you that type of things so hope that you'll be benefited for this tutorial if you have and if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and until the next video i may say signing out today don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the new notifications and until the next video bye bye